So I just got the <clears throat> WL Toys A959B, and um, it's a piece of shit. I mean, everybody on YouTube, whatever, everybody's recommended good. I mean, everybody's said these things are damn good. Um, but they're not. They're really not. Um, so this thing, I might just have a lemon here, but just it dies out on any kind of throttle or just in general um it's not really a an issue with the battery or anything because i mean the battery is fully charged and it'll do the same thing um but yeah it'll just completely cut out and the other thing too is like the build quality of this thing is horrible um and then also can't steer it really i mean that's not bad but it seems to have like torque kind of like mm, stopping it from actually steering most of the time um and then most of the time of course it's out of uh it's out of i mean it's not dialed in right because the car itself is never going to be dialed in right um so this is a problem i mean just in general with basically every wl toys Hopefully you can see that right there, but basically these tires are just fucking kicked out that way, kicked out that way. So from the factory, immediately what you need to do is you need to buy fucking adjustable thingies right here. Um, and these ones are just, you know, you pop them on, they pop off no matter what, and then your car is going to be, I mean, pretty much toast. I've, I've done this twice, so one of these pops off, hopefully you can see that there. But one of these pops off, and then the drive shaft pops out, and, well, actually, okay, this is stopping it in this case. This is the steering, but it's happened to me in the back. In the back, there's nothing. In the back, there is just this right here, and that's what holds the tire from not falling down that way and not falling down that way. Um, and that's it. This is a heat sink that I stole off of something else. It's actually... It's getting a little bit hot. This is the first time I've ever actually been able to get it hot. Um, I mean, before it just died and died and died and died, and this time it's actually been kind of okay. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, I mean, I was expecting good things because, I mean, Kevin Talbot had the, I mean, he was, he seemed super happy with it. I mean, look at how many RC cars he has. He's got to know something. Um, but honestly, I mean, for your average person that's really not trying to spend that much on an RC initially, because, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know what the deal is with the die out, but, um, it's a problem here, hold on, that died out right there, that died out completely, and the weird thing is, steering I've got the shitty steering still and look at the steering I mean that's left that's right that's horrible that's fucking horrible I mean that's the worst I've ever seen on any RC car this thing's really no good at all um so then what I do is I turn it off and I turn it back on and I keep on going so I mean and it just keeps going too it doesn't have any problems or any bullshit um so I'm thinking, I mean, maybe maybe the ESC is dead. It's just telling the battery, like, all right, or, I don't know, maybe it's not seeing that the battery is charged. I don't know. Maybe it's just telling itself that it doesn't have any battery and to shut off, but still, this is fucking weird, and I don't like it. I mean, I bought this on eBay with another parts car for $90, which is a steal because, I mean, I had all the parts. I've already broken it. I've had this a day, and I've already broken it twice. Which, I mean, that should tell you something. And that happened with my old WL toys. I have the K989. And that one, I mean, it's an amazing little indoor car. But it breaks. And, I mean, they're all too fast for themselves. And they're all completely uncontrollable. So I got some metal, car, or some metal parts for the other one. Because, I mean, I actually bought two of those. So I'm already in $100 on the K989. Um... And that's just supposed to be a cheap little car, so I don't know what the fuck to do. 
definitely doesn't really run so good in grass. I just cut this down too. Um, oh, there we go. I mean, it's just not really a practical car. Um, so what I bought is a Zin Li Hong 9125 because that actually has amazing reviews. People run that up to 3S, uh, 4S, and I think even 5S. This dude one or this dude did. Um, and it's actually a 110 for $80, I think it was. 81 I think I paid on eBay. So that's what is going to be kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going to be using that instead of this. That's for damn sure. This is just going to be up on the shelf and looking pretty. Because, I mean, WL Toys, they make damn good looking cars. They really do. They put them together right. I mean, if you have all the metal upgrades, they look fucking awesome. But, I mean just stock they they don't perform and that's just not what you want you want something out of the box that you can at least have a little bit of fun with and with a lot of those like chinese like uh trucks and shit um i mean they come that way they're i mean so low powered that you can't even break them like i had a bezgar truck before this and that one sucked that's why i got the 9125 because i can actually i mean it's decently fast for the price um, but yeah, this thing, this thing really sucks. It really sucks. So, I mean, there it goes. It died again. Um, at this point, it is actually probably the battery. So I got to give it, you know, I mean, it was running okay, but it was still dying. It still, it always dies no matter what. Um, but when I put a new battery in it, it usually seems to die when it's like, I don't know, um, I mean, full throttle, and then a little bit further on, it'll die on maybe, like, 75% throttle, so, anyway, um, this is a piece of shit, so, I mean, I can't recommend anybody to buy this, to be honest, um, but, you know, that said, they are fairly cheap right now. Um, I found one on eBay for like $65, which really isn't that bad. So, I mean, if you want to, you know, pay the $65 and like immediately get all the metal upgrade parts. Now, I'm sure this isn't going to be a bad car, but I mean, you're also going to be having stock parts like the ESC go out. Um, like, I mean, I think mine's done. That's That's got to be the only explanation. Um... And then your other problem is going to be um, the uh, the housing for the, the differentials. I don't think you can change, which really isn't a problem. Um, I think you can change the gearing. Um, so I think you can change basically everything that you would need to, um, which is good. This thing actually did get hot, so I got to give it, I mean, a little bit of some props this i don't know maybe it is my battery um i'm not sure but this car right now i'm not that impressed with it's fun but the only thing you can do is just go fast in a straight line and that's about it so yeah i don't fucking i don't know i mean it's a cool car i mean buy it if you want to but I don't know. I mean, no matter what, you're going to be having to fix it. No matter what, it's going to be too fast for itself. So you're just going to be running into shit. And the other thing is with the, the, the alignment in the front there. Um, I mean, like, literally... Ah, oh, shit, I don't... There's no way to really, like, show you how much play there actually is. But there's so much. It's horrible. So... I mean, you just can't drive this in a straight line, really. And, I mean, you can, and then it'll just fucking turn out and spin in circles and run into a car tire and destroy itself. So, yeah, I mean, I can't really recommend this. Maybe I can recommend the slower version, because, I mean, this one's just, just overkill, really. I mean, this is fucking too much right here. This is stupid. Um... You don't really need that on a fucking tiny car like this. It's cool. That's why I got it, you know? That's why everybody got these. It's because, like, this is a fucking fast-ass little car. But, 
at the end of the day, the reliability just sucks and you're better off getting something else. So anyway, I know my review style sucks. I know I got zero editing, but I hope this got you guys a little bit, you know, I mean, got you guys a little bit something. Um, anyway, have fun.